COVID-19 has had a devastating impact on our country and we are doing everything we can to make sure that as many people as possible in our constituency and in our communities are getting the vaccine. We're very proud of how the rollout is going so far. Our vaccination centres are ready and waiting and we're hoping that people will have a positive attitude towards taking the vaccine. The vaccine is safe, it has been tested and we are already seeing positive reactions from those people who are vaccinated. And it's important to be vaccinated not just to protect yourself but also to protect other people, especially those people who are very vulnerable in your family and in your community. I know many people are hesitant about the vaccine, primarily because of the speed with which it has been developed. But we are confident, not just within government, but across the medical community about its safety. And we really want to encourage as many people to feel confident about taking it. The vaccine has been rigorously tested across the world on very many people. That's one of the reasons why we do feel that it is appropriate to be rolling it out across our entire population. And I'm certainly encouraging everyone that I know, everyone in my family, uh, to take part in it as and when the vaccine is available for them. One of the most disheartening things that we have seen over the last few months has been vaccine disinformation. There has been lots of false information about a vaccine, talking about it being dangerous, it not working, it being tested on minority groups or it containing products which are uh, offensive to people's religion. And what I would say to that is it's, it is all untrue. We have seen COVID have a disproportionate impact on people from an ethnic minority background. As a minister who has been working on this issue and also as a black woman, I cannot tell you how important it is for us to disregard misinformation about the vaccine and to ensure that we go out and get vaccinated and get tested, especially amongst minority communities where the vaccine disinformation is causing the most harm. It is important to trust experts. There is a lot of information available on the gov.uk website about vaccinations, and I would encourage everyone who has questions to start there or to start with their local GP. We know that the vaccine is our best way out of this crisis. However, until you get vaccinated and even afterwards, we do ask that you continue to follow the social distancing guidelines. Please wash your hands, Please cover your face and please maintain space between you and other people so that we can protect ourselves and protect each other. I know everyone is keen to get back to normal. I know that we all want to finish lockdown and go back to our lives as they were uh, early in 2020 and before. The vaccine is the way to make this happen.